Well, round one here. Scott Hodges and Charlie Brown head to head. Charlie Brown in the red. And Scott Hodges in the blue. I'll tell you what, from the first couple of punches, this doesn't look like a bad bout to me under white collar. Both guys look calm, relaxed, set nicely. And this guy, this guy, Charlie Brown, is no Snoopy character, I can tell you that right away. White Collar Boxing UK in aid of the Amelia May Foundation. And Danny Kendrick in the commentary box. So far it's been a cracking show, a little bit of everything. Now just trying to find that range of his jab, his Hodges. A little bit of this and a little bit of that from each of them at the moment. It's comfortable to watch for me in the commentary box. Just trying to close him down, Brown. Left hook goes in well, finds its target straight away. Left hand round the outside as well from blue corner, but at the moment, yep, just a little bit sharper on the jab. It's Brown. Yeah, both walking into shots there. And that's a good right hand from Brown. Best shot of the round so far. It's a close one. Second of three. And it's Brown and Hodges here. Oh, big shot from Hodges. Two very good punches right on the button now. And they'll wake you up in the morning. Two best punches of the fight so far for me. Brown was a bit sharper in that opening round with his jab. Closing down, he wants to get another combination off like he did early in this round. A little bit of blood, I think, in the uh, in Brown's face. Good cracking shot, sharp hands it was. I wonder if that goes down to good instruction from the Avenue Corner team over there in the blue corner. He's, he looked like he came out with a, with a meaning and a purpose there. Just slowed down a little bit and Brown's just lost a little bit of that pace what he had early on. He's got good skills as well. the end of this round it's not been a clean punch landed really and this to the end is going to go blue after the first punches that are in the round and it it's a little bit of a slow one after that and I think whoever takes this last round is going to take this fight well third and final I think a big round from either fighter here will take this fight. I like the way both these guys box. There's a good right hand there from Hodges, who's grown in this fight and upped his product as the fight's gone on. It's white collar boxing UK here in the Brentwood Centre. 
And some fights with these uh, amateurs and novices. Uncomfortable to watch. This has been a comfortable one to watch for me. I think they're two big hitters who actually got a good guard and look after themselves well as well. And it's close, this one. Good slipping from blue corner and a good land with a jab as well. Oh, left hand finds his target there. He needs to cover himself up. He's got some stinging punches, Brown. But he's fighting well on the back foot at the moment. Just trying to jab and keep him away and trying to find that hook. Oh, he's good on the jab, he's uh, Hodges, but he doesn't follow it up properly. He's got no angles about him. Oh, big shot over the top there, and uh, Hodges ducked, and he's got caught. One and one. And they're good shots from Hodges. Brown keep walk, walking him down all the time. He may have just taken that first round, but a little bit. And there's some good shots from Brown. Just starting to get on top in this, but he's close. And I think Hodges is blowing now. Brown's looking for that big shot. He's missing a lot though. Missing a lot, Brown. And Hodges goes close. That is a very, very tight one to call.